very special day in San Francisco that took a lot of planning for a little boy with leukemia. Uh, right now, a fake bank robbery is taking place on Montgomery Street in San Francisco. The Riddler is demanding money from the vault, and the Bat Kid is coming to the rescue. <laughs> All right, let's take a live look right now at the comic book-like commotion, the Batmobile racing through the city on to the next adventure, and we're going to fill you in on that in just a few moments. Good morning, I'm Cheryl Jennings. And I'm Kristen Z. Yeah, the story has captured the nation's hearts. The little boy's name is Miles, right? That's right. His hero is Batman, and he wants to be Batman. And thousands of people are in on the act to make his wish come true. Look at this. The San Francisco Chronicle even got in on the action, putting out a special edition talking about the young hero, Bat Kids Save City. ABC7 News reporter Amy Hollifield joins us live now to walk us through this day for Miles. Amy? Hey everyone, yeah, we are here. I'm going to stay out of the shot right now because I'm hoping you're going to get to see Bat Kid in action. We have been told that he is on his way, should be here any minute. And the Riddler is here committing a robbery right now in the downstairs vault of this old bank building here on Montgomery. So we need our Bat Kid to come and catch the Riddler in action and haul him away in handcuffs. Now look at this crowd. It's unbelievable. It fills up uh, the city block on both sides of the street. As the chief of police put it this morning, he told us the city has gone bat nuts. And he says the city, it's a proud day to be a San Franciscan. Now this is uh, Miles Scott's wish. He told the Make-A-Wish Foundation, even surprised his parents when he said, I want to be Batman for a day. And so the Make-A-Wish Foundation has made that come true. And the city has sprung into action beyond anyone's expectations. I'm hesitant to, to peel away from this in case he pulls up, but I do want to show you a video clip. ABC 7 News is in on the action and we uh, we started his morning with a news brief. Our Ama dates and police chief Greg Sir alerted him with a video clip in his hotel room. Why don't we go ahead and take a watch. I think you have a few seconds till he gets here. Watch this. It was pretty exciting. It must have been exciting for him to watch this in his hotel room. We begin this morning's broadcast with breaking news from San Francisco's Hall of Justice. Please Cape Crusader. We need you and bring them. And that is what kicked off the morning for five-year-old Miles of Siskiyou County. He then transformed into Bat Kid. He has a Batman to drive him around the city so he can fight crime today. They have a Batmobile. It's a donated Lamborghini. The chief of police first asked for him to help at the Hyde Street cable car line, and that's where he saved a damsel in distress. There is a huge crowd here watching all of this, and the chief says it's a proud day to be a San Franciscan. You know, this little guy who's been battling leukemia for three years, he just had the, the port taken out last month. I mean, you know, he's our hero. But I think, uh, all told, the city of San Francisco put its heart on its sleeve, demonstrated it's the city of San Francis, rolling into the giving season. If you'll take a live picture, I believe the Batmobile is pulling up here. Listen to the crowd. Everyone has out their smartphones to take pictures and videos of this moment. I have covered several presidential motorcades in my career. I'm not sure that the presidents get this kind of a crowd. People in the crowd telling us they are huge fans of Bat Kid. Who isn't in? Who doesn't want to cheer on uh, Bat Kid and watch him take down the Riddler? Um, oh dear, we've got a camera right in our way. Can you? We are told that the vault here um, has, we have, there's a Riddler here, there's an actor, there's an actor downstairs in the vault dressed up in a Riddler costume. It even has the question marks all over his green suit. Um, and from here, uh, Miles is going to go have a lunch break. And um, he's getting all of his requests from a uh, police chief, sir, um, who is our, you know, commissioner today here in Gotham City, who is has pre-recorded messages for Miles. And um, his Batman has a projector on his wrist. It's a device. And so every at every stop, they get a beep, beep, beep. And Greg, sir, a video image of Greg, sir, pops up and says, Bat 
that kid, that kid, I need your help. There's a damsel in distress. Or at this location, the Riddler is, is conducting a robbery right now. And so that's how they know where to go next. And they come to this location in their Lamborghini, which was donated. Uh, Chief Sir told me this morning he cannot believe the reaction that he has gotten from around the world. Uh, he's been getting calls from as far away as Australia. People very interested in Bat Kid and wanting to watch his dream come true. Now, he's only five years old, so my little boy is actually five years old, and I, I can't imagine uh, how overwhelming this must all be for him. All these people cheering for him. Oh, here he comes. Oh, how cute. I haven't seen oh, Batman yet. He's all dressed up. Here they come. Oh. <laughs> you ran fast. If that's not the cutest thing <laughs> you've ever fast. seen. Here it is. Bat Kids' exciting adventures will continue. Lunch is next at Union Square. A flash mob will help direct Bat Kid to his next adventure after that. The rescue of Giants mascot Lucille at AT&T Park. And at 2 p.m. there will be a special presentation for Bat Kid at City Hall.